Good morning, folks. I'm just gonna show you a small thing I figured out in Fusion 360 that might help a few people. So, I want to make this into a flat object. Um, <coughs> originally uh, modeled it from a surface that I did from sketches. Um, I'm gonna show you. So, this is the sketch. And I, I sort of got this out of uh, this here. So what I want to accomplish here is I want to make a TPU insert here that has the exact length of this outer side and also the exact length of this inner side, which is actually shorter. But it's kind of cumbersome to do that because you, you, you can do a thicken, but if you want it out in TPU, you want to print it flat. So. I first I did a sketch and then after I did the sketch I did a loft to surface and I ended up with this body here and then I did a thicken by 0 0.6 and I ended up with this body. Um, I probably wouldn't have needed to go this far but I realized something now that if, if you want to do a measure let's say you want to measure the distance of all these sides uh, you cannot really do that and, and use the measuring tool here to copy the value. But what you can do, I found, is that you can pay attention to the area down here in the corner. It will show the value if you hold the control key. You can see now it, I, I clicked at side and I hold the control key and I click the next line. You will see that it accumulates the length of that side. For every one I click on, it increases the length of the side. So I'll just go in and I'll mark every single line of the outer side here. Here there is a small gap. I'll include that too. I tried to turn this into a sheet metal and flatten it, but I cannot because the length or the, the thickness is not equal everywhere because of the way it bends. So that didn't work. I would love to know if someone has an easier way to uh, figure out the length of a side that has a curvature like this. Um, it would be nice if I could just double click and the measuring tool would jump and select all the sections and then just show the value in the measuring tool because what you see down in the right hand corner as far as I can tell is part of the measuring tool. You can see now it's perfectly able to find and add the values to give you the exact length of those. So now it says 18.9917 millimeters. So I'll just note that down in notepad 18.9917 so that is the total length of the outer side, okay? And then I'll just figure out how long this one is. That is six millimeters in depth. So six millimeters, six millimeters depth. And that will be consistent for the whole model. So then I'll just swirl this around and I'll do a measurement of the inside because this is shorter it should not be as long as so I just hold control again and I'm just gonna do the same process for the inside you can see it adds up the value on the bottom I don't know if it matters, but right now I am um, I have it set to 3D sketch, but I'm not in sketch mode. I am in uh, solid mode. There.
Technically, it shouldn't matter what degree this one has to the other one because it's just going to be a flat object. And once you put it out, you will just bend it. Mm, sorry. So the total length here, as you can see, is 13.0713. So 13.0713 millimeters. So um, first, I made a version that I didn't quite was happy with. So what I figured out was that um, these, the inner one and the outer arch, are um, basically based around two circles or diameters, uh, and they have a fixed width between them here. Um, so the easiest thing you do is you project the points to, to find the correct curvature you need of the flattened object. You you find the points here that you want to use um, so you project those over to a different sketch and uh, I originally I made it like this and then uh, as you can see it doesn't align with the, the curvature you need so um, what you can do is you you, f you find the, you, you draw in a new sketch and you uh, basically draw in two circles like I did here uh, in this case I had projected these points and then you can go to the tool of the circles and you can just uh, make three-point circle for that one you can see it's a perfect fit and then you make a three-point circle for this one and you can see it's a perfect fit okay so the next step will then be to make the arches based on the uh, the length so I'll copy the first value for the outer range and I'll go to the create arch three point arch and then I select this and I drag it out and I paste in the value of the length of the entire arch and then I bring it into the curvature there then I take that and I bring it back in to this so the total length of the arch goes around the outside here now and I'll do the same for the other one. I'll go and get that value. Copy it. And then I'll, I'll use this same reference point. Because when you flatten it, it will be the same. So I go in here and I say, okay, it's going to be 13. And I use that curvature. And I use this other point. And then I have a new uh thing to follow here so now i can take these two ones and i can make them into constructed lines and you will see then that you have the objects here and then i can go and uh, i can hide this body and i can hide the main body and i can go in and say okay i want to make a line from this one all the way to the edge of uh, this one and i want a line from this one to the edge of this one and voila you can now see that the original body when it is flattened looks like this so I can take this now extrude it to 0 0.6 which is the width I want and then you can look at them compared and that I think is a perfect flattening of that object so, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this also uh, was helpful for you guys. See you in the next one.